All right, my free folk friends. We got about 10 minutes left to the market. Look at this bar right here. Went all the way up to um, about uh, 43.50, came back down. Uh, really aggressive, but this is the crazy trading at the end of uh, the hour. Look at this right here. I really don't like this um, little pattern. Uh, I mean, it, it, the, the flag actually triggered, and it doesn't uh, fail until um, a break of the uh, 355.26, which I guess is what was attempted on this bar, but couldn't get over that. Um, 352.91. I mean, we still have nine minutes. It could happen. I'm kind of feeling like it's going to turn around and tank. But um, if you look down here, here's the daily. And um, unless something gets really ugly in the last, last 10 minutes, the momentum is, is, is slowing and turning. This is a very aggressive move. We may consolidate a little bit and um, head out. We are actually in a consolidation. Let me see if I could bring another chart down and show you um, what I'm looking at. And yeah, we can look at the five minute chart bank and all right. So here it is. Um, I know there's a lot of lines here, but here's the low right here. We are. And here's the pre previous low and here's the high. So we're consolidating um, in between the low of. Um, 43.04. I thought we went lower than that. Well, I guess on the five minutes. So intraday, we're consolidating between 43.04 and a high of uh, 44.53. So that's basically the trading range um, intraday. But when you look at the daily, um, our, we're actually consolidating between the low of... Um, 422, uh, 4222, and uh, the high of uh, 4453. So that could be our trading range. And we'll see, um, as long as we don't break this low on this day, which see, it seemed very aggressive, although I'm not happy that we're back down here. Um, and the market's swinging. I mean, we were just down six points. Now we're down again, um, 17 points, and it's just whipping all over the place. But um, again, this is an inside bar. And how you play this is tomorrow, we wait for the break of the high or the low. Um, trading inside bars, it's all choppy. It goes back and forth. It's really a difficult trade. Um, and if you look at the price action of the day, there was maybe one or two, well, really one good solid move that you would have made easy money. Otherwise, you're just chopping back and forth, back and forth between the opening range, breaking the low, breaking the high. Um, so I kind of sat on my hands and then um, around lunchtime, you get that afternoon sell off. Um, so hopefully some of you guys took it, made some money. Um, but uh, that's it. This is the wrap. Let's take a quick look at bonds. Bonds kind of tells the story or interest rates. And we kind of traded down a little bit, didn't we? Looks like we're putting in a lower low. Um, I don't think we have too many gaps to fill. Yeah, there's, we're really all cleaned up. Well, we got a little gap down here. Although we opened up, traded down, closed it, and went back up. So really, there's no gaps to fill. So now, I mean, if, if interest rates are going to start marching up, it looks healthy enough to do it. Although, if you look, um, this is actually a head and shoulders. Um, that shoulder is a little higher, so it's kind of awkward. It's not textbook, but you can see the, the role of the momentum. So um, here's this high, here's the high over here, here's the head, and here's the high on the momentum, which is a little lower. Here's the um, right shoulder, and whoa, that momentum is mighty low. So I would be inclined to think that the um, that bonds are going to drop, and the head and shoulder doesn't trigger until it breaks that low of 1707. And then um, we have um, uh, 1874, let's call it 77 to 1707. So you got um, a 1.8, so 1707, say 15, 20, 1.8. 5.2, which doesn't make sense to me. It's way too low. But um, actually, it's right there, and there's actually a gap. Wouldn't that be something, man? 
Wouldn't that be something? That would definitely make Kathy Woods look good. Um, but yeah, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if we see 17 too. But theoretically, um, on a head and shoulder, uh, you, you would um, see an equal move down, which is exactly what we saw um, on the break of the S&P uh, daily head and shoulder. If you recall, we might have talked about that. See, here's the, the uh, left shoulder. Here's the head. Here's the right shoulder. The move from here to here is relatively comparable to the move from here, the break, to here. You know, there could be an overshoot because you have algorithms, stuff like that. But um, for all intents and purposes, I think it was within um, 10 points um, if you do the math. So anyway, that's it, man. Um, I don't know what news we have tomorrow. We'll take a look tomorrow. Um, I hope everybody did well today and made a few dollars or mitigated their loss because um, it, it seems like um, the past two weeks has been just risk management. Risk management, risk management, risk management. So um, aside from directional trades, that's the only thing that's been profitable for me in the past month. So um, there's not much more I could say. So you guys have a good night. I appreciate it. Uh, be calm and cool. Uh, be at peace when you trade and good luck trading.